Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome to Friday. Well, it looks like cloudy with a good chance of storms or huge temper tantrums this weekend for the world to the zodiac. We've got a full moon in Pisces. Full moon means full emotion. Moon is emotion. That full moon emotion is around trust and intimacy. So Leos this weekend are going to start to get weak at the knees about whether they trust the universe, they trust themselves, they trust their lover, they trust at all where they should put up boundaries, where they shouldn't put up boundaries. You're going to be obstinate about your boundaries. You're going to be sensitive at all the borders everywhere. And if you know full moons or you watch Soul Garden, this isn't about your boundaries. This is about your soul capital. Remember, a full moon is an opposition. It's a tug of war between the sun and the moon. What the moon is doing is pulling us out of our Virgo issues, helping us release the stubborn parts of our soul that in fact put us in place or in position for this kind of breakdown or these particular showers. So if you find a really hard time feeling anxious or having issues and worrying about your partner cheating on you or worrying about you cheating yourself, the real worry and work is releasing issues of self-esteem and soul capital that in fact created this mess in the first place. It's time to raise your prices. If you felt super valuable and knew you were the shit, you wouldn't worry about someone cheating on you. It's because like, hmm, you're a fool, go ahead and do it, idiot, right? Soul capital strong, not so worried about boundaries. Now Saturday it actually intensifies. That's because that full moon will then cross Uranus, which is opposing Saturn, which means a test of faith, potential breakdown, followed by breakthrough, but definitely put potential breakdown, again around trust and intimacy and boundaries, but again opposing Saturn this time, so the answer is the same. Saturn, take responsibility for your soul capital. That is how you will eliminate this anxiety and worry with trust and intimacy and whatnot. All right, Your Majesty, now I have one more thing. We have two practitioners to help you out through the weekend with this process. You are blessed here at Soul Garden. The first, of course, is Feng Shui Friday with Ariel Joseph Town, Feng Shui guy. Ariel's going to help you reorganize your space, including boundaries, including how things vibrate in your home, to set the stage for that positive soul capital. And our full moon goddess, Kristen Ryder, goes live today. She literally focuses on releasing the Virgo vibration. How do you release from old stubborn patterns? Kristen has that answer, and she also has that encouragement. She's quite a cheerleader, if you don't know. All right, that's all we have for the weekend, Your Majesty. I'll see you on Monday with more. Good luck with the moon, and live, love, be. So